These Caracas baseball players all share one dream, playing in the major leagues in the United States one day. Venezuela has traditionally been a top exporter of baseball talent, but US-funded academies are now leaving, scared of the country's gloomy economic prospects, rampant insecurity and growing political turmoil. Back in the 1990s, 23 major league teams had facilities to train young athletes in Venezuela. Today, that number is down to just four, including the Detroit Tigers and the Philadelphia Phillies, who share ownership of these grounds. Yet despite the mounting hardship, coach Josman Robles remains hopeful. Maybe if something happens that forces us to shut our doors, we will have to go. But for now, we aren't leaving. The results are there. There's a lot of talent in Venezuela. Joe Ortiz is one of the many success stories to have come out of the country. Signed by the Texas Rangers at age 16, he's now a pitcher for the Chicago Cubs. His mother Clarissa says Major League Scouts offered him the chance of a lifetime and worries to see academies close. It will be a catastrophe because as a child, sport is essential to make you think about good things. And so imagine what will happen if all the academies close. It will be a disaster. Adding to the 68% yearly inflation and peaking criminality, fears that Venezuela's socialist government could expropriate academies to nationalize them has encouraged major league teams to pack up and go. U.S. scouts now prefer to focus on the Dominican Republic as a pool of talent, the only other country in Latin America where baseball is more important than football. The country's socioeconomic hardship, the political instability, personal insecurity, as well as uncertainty when it comes to their judicial status, has pushed these organizations to leave the country. At least the academies have left to the Dominican Republic, and that's where they're concentrating their efforts concentraran todos sus esfuerzos en República Dominicana. More than 320 Venezuelan-born players have batted and pitched for the biggest U.S. teams over the years. But even as a handful of teenagers continue to train in impeccable U.S.-owned facilities, their dreams of becoming major leaguers is growing out of reach.